Alright guys, uh, tried to go fishing today. It was in almost the 60s. It was like 59 degrees here in Virginia. A little warm fronts coming through. It was pretty bad fishing. So, I actually ended up getting skunked. I did find a new lake that I can get rid of permission from my cousin to fish. Looks pretty promising. Um, be a whole lot easier with uh, this thing on here, which is why I'm doing this video. Fishing didn't work out great, but I'm gonna give you guys a little walk through my setup on the Hobie PA-12. Um, just, I haven't even got it on the water yet. I just bought it. It's been so cold that I've just mainly just been rigging it up and getting it set up for the spring. I'm sure things will change once I actually get it out in the water of what I'm using and how I have it set up now, but just give you a little walkthrough of what I've got going for it now. All right, so first up, let's do this. This is a PVC. They go half inch PVC pipe that goes into the sail on the Hobie. And I've got the uh, dual GoPro. And then I've cut one of these um, like tripod adapters. I cut one of the ears off. So now it screws in here and I put a hot shoe on it. So I can put my mic here and my GoPro here and have it all on one rig like that. You gotta bunch it down so it doesn't doesn't rattle it around much and uh, can't really fall out if anything does happen. Next I got my gear bucket right here. I took took the tackle box holders out. I like to keep my uh, fish grips, my line cutters, pliers, uh, scale, my soft baits, stuff like that in there. And I like to keep my tackle under here. Usually there's a couple more bins, but I had them out when I was uh, bank fishing today. Then we walk around to the other side. I've got the uh, Hobie Tackle A-Trail system here. I take the top off. I keep uh, two of my bins in here, and then I keep this little space right here as like a cubby. And I got the cup holder that comes with it. Then I have a Scotty mount here for my anchor or my rod holder. I got one on each side. I can switch between the two. In the hatch, I've got my dry bag. The lid to the uh, tackle box retrail trail system. My PFD. My anchor. That's about all I keep in there. It's just for pretty much storing stuff. Underneath, I've got a spot for, I don't know how well you can see that, it's pretty dark in there. I've got a spot for two battery holders. Only using one right now, but I accidentally ordered two, so I figured I'd pick them up. Keep all my rods here on the side. I have, I ordered an extra one of these uh, rod holders here. So I've got one here in the back, one here in the front, and I've got one right here that has my uh, homemade um, parking pole, and then kind of an extra rod that I don't normally use down below. But I like it because it keeps the rods to the side. I can then keep my tackle box and my cup holder on the inside, on that side, and then uh can store away this kind of stuff and then right here this is my camera arm it's just a sportsman clip for like bows and fishing rods and stuff got it clipped on there and I got this long 10 foot cable for charging the camera when it is there so I can film all day this is just a monopod from Amazon that I got a couple videos and some Scotty ends and the HRL Scotty adapter. Uh, if you guys want to see a video on that, let me know and I'll show you how I made that. There's a bunch of videos out there. Uh, I know, uh, I think Kayak DIY has one. There's a bunch of them out there. And I have this cheap little net right here. I just keep my Mirage drive in the back along with my paddle. Usually there's a cooler back there when I, when I take it out. I've got an Arctic soft bag cooler and then a Yeti Rode 20 so either one fits great back there. Um, the Vantage seating, 
just right here. I like it more in the up position just for fishing. It's a little bit better. Oh, and then, yeah, can't forget this. Right now, this is a Lowrance Hook 3X DSI. So it's got the down scanning on it. And I'm just going to tell you now that hooking a fish finder up in a Hobie Pro Angler was one of the most simplest things I've ever done. Like, they've thought of everything on this kayak. And, uh, literally very simple. So, it took me all of, I think, 20 or 30 minutes to get this thing rigged up. I have a bass boat as well. I just don't get to use it that much. There's not very many gas lakes here in Virginia. So, I bought a kayak to try and get more waters and, because a lot of the bank fishing kind of is pretty bad too. So, I bought this hoping that I can get into more waters and a lot of places are no gas motors anyway. So with this, I don't have to worry about charging a battery and lugging a big car battery or boat battery for a trolling motor around. I can propel myself and still be hands-free. It's almost like a uh, man-powered mini bass boat is the way I kind of like to look at it. But if you want to get this side, that's the roadie. Um, we'll use back there. I've got these scupper plugs here just because I don't want water in the front of the boat. The back of the boat, eh, I don't really care if water gets back there. But, anyways, guys, um, I'm sure things will change and I'll do another video as it does, kind of updating how I like to use, um, use the kayak and use everything on there. But, Anyway, this is my Hobie PA-12. If you guys want to see more videos about this, then uh, just let me know. I'll be glad to show you how I made any of these DIY things. If you want to see this camera mount for the mic and the GoPro, the PVC mount, the little end caps, if you want to see how that's made. I got a couple right here that I keep in the boat that just mounts to any camera. If you want to see how this is made, so let me know I'll buy another one and show you guys how I did it if you want to see the park homemade parking pole I'm gonna paint this with a flex seal so it's all black and looks a little bit better than it is right now but if you guys want to see a video on how I made that it's really simple it's under ten dollars I think this was in total under I would say under thirty dollars for this and it goes out to I mean it's Goes way out there. Just gotta bring the wire. See, this goes way out. Give you pretty good angles. It swings because it's on the uh, Scotty H rail mount. And I'll just, I'll keep my battery when I'm out filming. That's where this wire runs to. Right here. I'll keep my battery right here in this netting. This rubber netting. So that my GoPro charges the entire time. Anyway, that is my Hobie PA-12. If you guys want to see any of the videos on how I rigged it up and how I made these, these accessories for on the cheap. Also, I have this cart that I made out of the PVC pipe. If you want to see how to make that, just let me know. Um, be more than willing to do these videos. I'm going to take this thing out Saturday, hopefully catch some fish. If not, just to get out and try it out and, you know, see how I like things and where I like things. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to see more Hobie videos, fishing videos, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.